Snow falling in Houston is a major event, but has there ever been a blizzard in Houston? Hey, I'm Colleen Fell, and welcome to this Forgotten Day in Houston, presented by Greenwood King Properties, a place to find your home. In this episode, we'll take a look at yesterday's forecasts. Stay tuned, I've got your record-setting 1895-day forecast coming up right after this. On January 22nd, 1940, three inches of snow fell on Houston, but as the Chronicle headline declared, that quickly turned to sleet and rain. In 1949, cold temps and 2.6 inches of snow led to more headaches than fun in the park. In 1929, there was just enough snow to give life to this snowman. In February 1960, four and a half inches of snow blanketed Houston, which was more than enough for local kids and kids at heart to build a snowman or two full size or a miniature. At least I, th I think that's supposed to be a snowman. If you walked through Herman Park that day, you might have also found yourself in a snowball fight. However, the fun was fleeting as just 24 hours later, the Chronicle wrote, kids sad, adults glad as sun melts snow. Now, long before there were TV meteorologists, green screens and animated weather icons, there was what remains to this day, the record snowfall in Houston. On Valentine's Day, 1895, it started snowing in the city and 48 hours later, the Weather Bureau officially reported that 20 inches of snow had fallen. They called it a blizzard, but decades later, a meteorologist laughed and said it was probably such a foreign subject to the weatherman of that year that he didn't know what else to put down. Greenwood King knows Houston history and the nuances of each neighborhood. If you're looking for a place to find your home, visit one of their three convenient office locations in the Houston area. You can also go to greenwoodking.com where you'll discover the exciting possibilities waiting for you in your new community. I'm Colleen Fell, and thanks for watching.